Chess friends, I recently start my genius chess course where Alpha Zero, and I will sacrifice our material against each other, Magnus Carlsen or two four grandmasters to enlighten you with my chess knowledge and intelligence, today Alpha sacrificed his queen against Magnus and friends, I started quotes channel where you will get quotes about life and success, I will put link in the description and the comment, so let's go, Alpha started with e4, we have c5, knight to f3, d6, we have d4, pawn takes, knight takes d4. In this position, you can gain center advantage and target the knight by playing e5, knight here, knight to f6, or g6 which is called Hungarian variation, using the bishop on this diagonal, or you can push the queenside pawns to advance the bishop line, which is also a popular idea, Magnus played knight to f6, knight c3, a6, we have bishop to c4, Wobby Fischer often plays this bishop c4 move, you might think e5 is the best move, but the best move is e6 which Magnus played in the game. Blocking the bishop's line, Alpha moved back his bishop, getting a safe place for the bishop, Magnus played b5, bishop goes to g5, bishop to d7 by Magnus, queen up to f3, queen c7, Alpha pushed his d-pawn, targeting on the knight and the rook at the same time, we have bishop to b7, Alpha takes the pawn, sacking a queen, because if you take the queen with your bishop, let me show you the variation, if bishop takes, then pawn takes queen, targeting the knight with pawn promotion and the bishop. You are gonna lose one of your piece, so, in this position, we have bishop takes d6, queen to e3, bishop on c5, pinning the knight, alpha played long castle, getting the d-file for any future attacks for white, knight goes to c6, these pieces targeting on the knight and chess friends, I want you to pause the video and make a brilliant move for alpha zero, go, one, two, okay if you find bishop takes knight, then congratulation it's not the brilliant move, it's just a good move, I said, find the brilliant move, okay. If you find queen to, d, I mean queen takes e6 check, then congratulation, this is the brilliant move, we are invincible and chess friends if you want to make these kind of brilliant moves then you can like and subscribe to my youtube channel to learn from my videos, ok, you have to take the queen, queen sacrifice for only 2 pawns, knight takes pawn and targeting on the queen, you know what, I have the open d file and the e file, light bishop is sniperring on there. This knight is an octopus knight and the another bishop is doing very good job, ok first you have to rescue your queen, if you think queen to e5 which is a good move, let me show the variation, then knight takes g7 check, king slides, knight e6 check, supported by the bishop, king to f7, you can take the bishop to give a discover check which is an excellent idea, but alpha 0 is alpha 0, he played his best move rook to e1, targeting the queen, the queen have less squares to go, if you play queen to b8. Then knight takes, discover check, king here, bishop takes knight, if king takes happen, then knight to d7 will fork your king and queen, you will down material and lose the game, so, if you fortunately find the best move queen takes rook, it's not rook takes queen, it's knight takes bishop with a discover check, king to g6, targeting on the bishop, so after rook takes e1, king takes bishop, and knight takes bishop, white will gain such a good advantages for his pieces, and the black king is very weak on there. Don't worry, these moves did not happen in our actual game, Magnus is intelligent enough to calculate these moves, because he is my subscriber, he played queen to b6, we have knight takes check, king slides, knight e6 check, king ups, knight takes bishop which is a discover attack, so king g6, rook to d6, targeting on this knight with two pieces, if you take the bishop, let me show you the variation, then rook takes f6, sacking a another piece because alpha 0 is my subscriber too. King takes rook isn't possible because of d7 fork, you will lose your queen, also, you can't take the knight with your queen, because of knight e4 fork, you will lose your material, so rook g8, knight check, king here, check, king h4, knight here and that's it, rook f4 check is coming which will be a checkmate, however white have plus 8 advantages, so, back to the position, Magnus played queen takes knight, rook takes check, you shouldn't take the bishop, because of knight fork, the same tactic, so, king back to g7, rook check, supported by the bishop, king g6, 
bishop back to e3, targeting on this queen, queen to e6 is an inaccuracy move, I wouldn't tell you the variation otherwise the video will be long, Magnus played knight here, rook takes bishop, knight takes, pawn takes, queen e5, Magnus have queen for two rooks, and two rooks for two major pieces, but his king is widely open, so, h4 by alpha, h5 by Magnus, knight to e3, threatening knight check, rook f8, rook h3, rook g8, rook g3 check, king f5, rook to h7. Threatening to give a rook check, to win your queen, so queen e8, try to protect this, rook check, king g6, rook h6 check, king backs, rook check, king slides, rook h7 check, king here, bishop check, king comes, rook to e3, queen slides to a8, rook e5 check, king backs, rook takes h5, threatening this, queen c8, rook check, king f7, rook to h7 check, and that's it, Magnus resigned the game, I played from this position, let's see how the game will be end, don't stop watching, enjoy the game with my beautiful background music. Wish you all the best, thanks for watching subscribe for more, bye bye take care see you soon.